hey, let's play more Animal Crossing. But first, uh, hey, this is actually Future Will, so not the Will that was playing the game at the time. So what happened with this particular video, uh, to cut a long story short, Windows Update has the habit of just completely resetting my audio settings. So the microphone was bad, um, just not really hearable, and there was just a bunch of technical issues. So what I'm doing for this one is I'm just gonna uh, commentate over it. Like, it's fine, uh, you know, some things won't be too much of a live reaction, but you'll at least have me, and you can actually hear me, instead of having to fight over the audio. I figured it would be better to release the video in that quality than what was intended. So, you know, the thing that I'm working on today, um, first of all, it is a birthday, so I needed to pick out a present. Uh, I was looking for clothing here. And there wasn't really anything I could give. I was kind of hoping that I could save some money, but there was also the tickets that got sent overnight, so I figured worse comes to worse, I'll use that. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I did try my best, but it just wasn't a go. I did joke that uh, I should give her the sweater, because... The way we ran into her was, uh, you know, I, I was looking for villagers and I was so happened to wear the same sweater. And that's why we picked her. It's just like a faded encounter. I thought for a sec the peasant blouse might be something I could use, but nah. I decided to go against it. So. Yeah, I, I believe it. <laughs> at this point, I was like, uh -huh. you know it would be funny if I gift her the sweater. And no, so, you know, it was a no-go. Okay, so, uh, let's just watch as this goes on. Uh, so, I did get a another hybrid hyacinth, so that was great. Um, that was fake. And today I received the remaining stuff for the outdoor diner, so I'm gonna put that together. As well as what else did I order? I don't remember what these were. So hey, there might be a bit of a surprise here. It's alright, it's not like this happened earlier. Let's see what Katrina sent us as well. I already know, but I'm not going to spoil it right away. Yeah, that that was annoying. I just pressed Y. I didn't even move the analog stick. And I just turned around and just did that. Just in what universe would I want that to happen? Anyway. So... Gotta open all the other stuff. Basic teacher's desk. It's so good how this came out. It doesn't look like a, a teacher's desk when you look at all of them. They just look like counters. It is raining in game, so it's just like, well, it might highlight the downside of having something with no roof, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, I struggled a bit to get this done. This took longer than it needed to. There we go. You got it. Good job. This is a bit weird. <laughs> Just having to do commentary over something that's already happened. 
I don't remember every little detail, but it's just, you know, I don't get the benefit of the live stream today. But pretty much what happens, just didn't realize the audio was that bad until someone mentioned that pretty much at the end, so that was Messiah, so thank you, Messiah, for letting me know. As audio is probably the thing that I care about the most, and it just... I'm usually on top of it when Windows update messes with things, but just, it's been a week. I'm in the process of moving, so it's just, it's been hectic arranging everything. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Okay. Now at this point, this is where I would say, let me get my art guide out. So I would have been getting the art guide out. Um... The signs were cool, though. So, if I stand around... Okay, I did look up the common painting. So the common painting is, uh, always legit. So, it's a purchase without question. Didn't check the others, though I can already see the... Da Vinci one on the left is, uh, it's fake because of the, the coffee stain. Not sure about the other two. This is cool. I was happy with this because I have a uh, diner outside that says pasta, so I figured, okay, yeah, let me let me get a few of these. Um, and I can get a custom pattern on it to do some signage. But also, I wanted to see the other styles, so I'm sure I was going to use them one way or another. So I bought as many as I could. Uh, it was being weird. I had to slightly move and then press A. I couldn't just keep pressing A. Yeah, again. Okay. I mean, 5,700 is pretty pricey, but... These... It seems so good. <laughs> the amount of money I've blown on it. And then I got some toy ducks. So, I have an idea for these ducks. Uh, not sure when it'll eventuate. As, at the moment, there's just a lot of moving parts. To have to deal with. In particular, uh, just I need more simple panels. So I bought, I bought a few ducks. Just oh right, I ran out of room. Yeah, that's fine. You won't regret it. That's that's certainly something you want to say to your customers as they leave. Yep. So, it's raining as well, no watering, which I would have been happy about, but this, it's like, yeah, this is the full good. I thought about leaving it like this, but then the angle just seemed wrong. So, what I did was pull it out, like that, and then push that one in. But Dinah's looking pretty good. Just need to uh, customize the stools. Yeah, I'm well, happy to see this progressing. I want to... What did I do here? Oh, I was checking what they were. It's like, oh, it's red. Put it back for the time being. And then I go check the state of the other flowers, so. Not really anything here. 
It's also evening, so to make the time normal. Uh, yeah, pretty much no uh, luck here. No luck here. No luck here. I thought about something about the res that a detail that I missed. <laughs> Just, yeah, push Sasha out of the way. So, to get blue, you have to combine reds. So I think these reds are something that I need to lay out together. So then it has a chance of putting blue. I hope I'm correct. So what I did was just move all the extra reds that grew here and put them in a, a little bit of a grid. So then, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's nice that I won't have to water stuff. Okay. Yep. Good. I guess YouTube's getting, like, an exclusive commentary. Yeah. Pays to be on, on the YouTube channel. Yeah, this area's looking pretty nice. I'm happy with what I've done so far. So, I ordered uh, the two street lights. So, I just need to place them here. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. The table's in the way. So, I move it out of the way. Yeah, that'll do. That way. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, when it's raining, kind of highlights how ridiculous um, an outdoor sort of library thing <laughs> is, but just pretend, you know, it's a pop up and then when it's raining, they put the stuff away and the books are safe. So I place this here, but then I think maybe it might look good here in front of the little table. And it didn't work. So I just put it back. Yeah, it, it looks good. Pretty happy with the area overall. And man, this is just the breath of fresh air here. Just Finally, this side of the island just does not look like a mess. It's all neat. Still thinking about this area. Oh, right, there's this. This one's kind of in the way. Hmm. 
I could just throw them here. I don't know what else to do with them. I'm not sure what else I can do for this. To get it to grow, it's just, you know, patience. There's not really a whole lot to it. Maybe I could... Now that I see this, maybe I could try... Isolating the reds and just getting only reds and seeing what happens. Because I think that's what makes it. I'll have to look up the chart. But just getting a scenario where, you know, it does that. Probably worth it. Good. <laughs> seeing it a second time, just, yep, still feel the frustration. Okay. There it is. I think I was just counting the patterns here. Just how many I have to spare. I think it was like nine or ten. There's some stuff I'll have to decipher away. What was I doing now? So in terms of fish, um, the sealer camp was the only thing in the rain I needed to catch. There's the giant trevally and mahi mahi, but I decided against spending the day trying to catch them. It's just I might dedicate some time soon. But I just didn't feel like it today, so. And look what's grown finally, because we're a five star island now, so. We have the other uh, valley, really. Um, I remember I don't have a shovel now. <laughs> so, yeah. I got a shovel. I put hardwood away when I needed hardwood to make a shovel. So I get it out again. Along with, uh, yeah, the iron. have this sense of deja vu like I've heard the song somewhere but it might just be because it's similar to something. I'm not sure what. Uh, what was I doing now? 
Oh yeah, gyroids. And I had a thought about this. If it got nook miles. And the answer was yes, it gave me... How many? 300? Yeah. So, 300 just for planting one of these, and then I figured, oh, there's gotta be one for slipping in my own seat. So... <laughs> Easy 600 nook miles. Which is very good. I wonder what the other one is now that I see it. There's like one more bad fortune thing. I could look it up. Or I could take a guess. I mean, I guess another bad fortune thing that can happen is... Turnips, maybe? Just letting them rot? I don't know. Or maybe just a Katrina fortune and just letting it be and not getting purified. Those are the two off the top of my head. I don't know what else that would be. I might look it up. So I decided to plant the flower here and just my hope hopefully fill this area with the plant. I mean, it'll take a while. I think these grow pretty slowly. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I can... I don't need to get that in. It's just 10, so... I think it'll look nice, but I could change my mind. I do want to do a... a place where flowers grow on mass and uh, put a flower shop, so... That's going to be something I'll do eventually. Once this whole hybrid situation is sorted, which... Who knows when that's going to be. I'm trying my best, but it's just random as random at the end of the day. Okay, well... Now, I believe I'm just looking for fossils, so... There might be a bit of, uh, running around. Yeah, I'm just very happy with this area. How it's turned out. I think structurally most things are, are done. This is a matter of, uh, putting little things here and there, and yeah, the island should look good. I wonder if I should play music at the other restaurant, or if it'll clash too much. I don't even know where I would put a music player. Okay. That's uh, fossil number four. Debating on whether or not I should get rid of that rock. I think I have to eventually, but... There's also an idea I have. Just probably won't do it yet. Okay, so... Decided to see if I could find something for the birthday present. And lo and behold, perfect. <laughs> so I, I went with that. It's uh, 
kind of sucks that it just put it into my storage. So that's okay. I need to get changed anyway for today, so... What do I wear? I was thinking the fast food uniform initially, but then I saw the Python print jacket. <laughs> so I thought, like, oh yeah, that's nightclub owner. And then the, the punk pants. I wasn't going to get a, a hat until I saw the beanie, so I thought, yeah, I want that. And then footwear. <laughs> I just want my slippers. It looks weird, but I, I like it. That's fine. So I gotta uh, go get the present out of storage. First, uh, right, wrapping paper. So here I was thinking, ooh, because I want a library, I thought maybe that might be useful. So, I miss where the wrapping paper is. <laughs> And then scroll down, there we go. It's there. Good job. So, yeah, I mean, I was thinking customize it, maybe the binders change into books. That was my train of thought. Uh, but, you know, that item looks like it's just for someone that's an accountant. And I don't think I want anyone to be an accountant in my town. I don't think anyone's wanting to do taxes. They don't look like the type, so. Okay, just get the present. It works for her. So I go check. The party is here, right? Yeah. It's so flattering to have visitors on my birthday, and I'm really touched that some friends had gifts for me. I brought this for you. I, I am going to read as well, so it's like, I guess, what I'd be doing normally. Oh, for me? Really? This is so exciting. Oh, this is so sweet. You got me a bow of blue song. I will treasure this bow wow. Thank you very much. I feel like this year's birthday will be a hard one to forget. Yeah, she didn't put it on. I was trying to see if I could get a piece of cake just by being here, but then... <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put out the candles. It's gonna be a menace. Perhaps this birthday is super awesome. I just realized they're whistling like a caracha. 
I thought they were whistling like a birthday song, but it's the town theme. That's funny. Alright, money tree time. will remain the permanent place for money trees. I mean, I guess I will need a dedicated space eventually. Or I could just let them grow and then just not bother with them anymore. I should... I wonder if... I should make a villager, like, a designated money tree host. Maybe not. Okay. So, I mean, it's been a while since I've gotten a fossil. Uh, so, what I did, I was curious as to how many fossils I have left to find. Um, just checking if the coffee was a thing and what the normal thing was. But then I figured, let me go count um, and see if I can spot out how many fossils I have missing. So... This room seemed okay. So, kind of surprising. I didn't think I was this far ahead. So, you know, Stegosaurus. But then, pretty much every other dinosaur here looks complete, from what I can see. Maybe there's like a couple smaller ones missing. But I think the large ones in this room, it only looks like it's the Stegosaurus that's missing. So, maybe? That was that one there. But I mean, otherwise, it looks pretty complete. Hmm. Yeah. I couldn't really spot any others that had missing bones, so, I mean, that probably explains why I haven't found many. There might be a couple of little ones here and there, but I would imagine I'm definitely down to the last five, so. I guess I just have to be patient and eventually it'll work itself out. At least I know I'm not unlucky. table and birdhouse. Wasn't gonna happen. I am struggling with normal wood. I'm just always out of it. Or down to my last stack. Ooh. 
Ja, då. Hey, Scoot. I worked up a solid sweat today. I'm gonna be super sore in the morning. Zip zip. Just because, you know, that was a thing. Got to spend off mile, so I'm gonna do the daily island. But first. Crafting? Probably crafting. There you go. I mean, this looks good to just place down, so I might do something with this. Okay. So, going to halves now to customize the furniture and finish off the diner. This is just going to be a bunch of customization. The designer. I think it was just two pink chairs as well. I am glad that Harv's Island does have more use, but, you know, one thing that I did like about New Leaf was these characters were pretty readily accessible, just walk around. I don't know, extra buildings in town would have been nice. Like, I think this is the only one that I would have wanted on the island. And then the others could remain here. Like, yeah, the fortune teller's fine. Same with plant selling and art and clothing. Anyway. These are good signs. Particularly these for the restaurants, so, you know. Look at that. They're all pretty good. I can't believe they have one for free as well. So I decided to just get uh, a sign for the various restaurants. Oh yeah, I changed my mind on the frame. I was like, nah, black looks better. So that was an expensive mistake. Plus double. But also gives variety, so. Yeah. 
So this one was good to get because now it does the same job as the one that I had at the resort. So this will replace that and then that'll be another pattern that I can get. So I was very happy with these signs. They do a good job and there's good styles for them. So not a lot of colors available with the frame, but that's fine. Um... Yeah, clothing. I got the clothing one. I think the only one I didn't end up getting was the burger one, because I don't think I'll do a burger place. Otherwise... I did get the others. I figured I might do something with the bakery. Who knows? Thought may as well. Now, the duckies. So, I have an idea for these. Not sure if it'll pan out, but... I figured, get the ducks customized, and if I can make it, I'll make it. Otherwise, just, uh, I'll figure out something to do with them. One way or another, I will do something with them. In the words of, uh, Adam Sandler, I want a blue duck. So I'm getting a blue duck. Okay. It can be a blue duck. was good. Oh, right. But I mean, it, it does the job, it's... <laughs> Get it together, come on. There it is. It looks good. And it saves a pattern, so we can use it for something else. <laughs> I 
Oh dear. There we go. Sorted. Put it move up. That's okay. I mean, I was thinking of putting it here, but then it's like, they're not really selling bread out. I mean, you could find these things at a bakery for sure, but this is more like a dessert store. Yeah, so I mean, I was thinking I wanted the two signs. I couldn't really figure out where to put them. Um, so instead I decided to go dine account off. Set up first. I am pretty happy with how this turned out overall. Those look pretty nice. Yeah, so with this, uh, I wanted the signs, but, you know, I want to be able to walk through the place, so... It's a little problematic. Okay, so, one of them will go here. I find it. There it is. But then the other one I was kind of struggling where to put it. I figured that could work. But you know, upon reflection now, I think I need to move it down one because it's not in the walking area. Like, it's in the way. Once all the chairs are in, I won't be able to walk across, so I will have to fix that. There you go. There's something I need to fix. Uh, the only one remaining is the baker one, which I'm not going to do anything with. So. I decided to also pick up some spares, as they're pretty useful and they can just get some custom patterns and do stuff with it uh, in future if I want. So, one way or another they'll, they'll come in useful. It's probably one of the better items. Again, I just wish that the number of patterns we got was double what it currently is. It's just, it's too few. I did get another ducky. I dig it, it's, it's just a little weird. Okay, so that's all done. What's next? Hmm. 
I honestly don't remember what I did next. <laughs> Oh, Scorpion, look. Man, it hid, it hid in the lily. I could not see it. And now I, because I was watching for it, I thought it went left. And that was damn sneaky where it hid. It was inside the lily. Extra stealth on that Scorpion. All right, I don't feel so bad about it now. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I was surprised that I didn't get that one, but now... It's fine. Oops. Okay. So, customization of items still. I need to get to one of my rubber duckies customized. So I got another white one. Farewell, duckies. I will do something with them at some point. Oh yeah, and... Fortune telling. I'm pretty much broke. See, this would have been a good one to get yesterday when I did all the moving of the trees. Oh well. Can't pick out all the fortunes. Trying to do similar reactions to what happened when uh, I actually did see the big fish. Unfortunately, it was nothing major. At least the snapper, they were something. Just the giant trevally and the mahi mahi are unfortunately at the dock. 
so. But I do want to get a coelacanth model, so. That's something to aim for. stop. It <laughs> probably would have been the second one, though. Okay, well. Since Nook Miles spending is a thing, and it's gonna get subsidized, Island till time. It's the best time to do it. I done me best to chart this great big old world. Sometimes I feel like I held myself in too deep. So I turn over a new leaf. No more mapping every reef. Dock to dock, that's how I rock. I can finally get a good night's sleep. Believe it or not, back in the day I used to be lean and mean. Oh, don't mind me if I tend to sing off key. These murder fumes make me a bit dizzy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that far away from the murder fumes as well. It's just might be something you need to look into. Okay. Well, yeah, no special island, really. Well, at least it was subsidized. Okay, well... I wanted to make the most out of this island, so... Getting all the resources. Especially wood. I need just normal wood. have me. Alright. Duplicate recipe. It's a shame. I haven't really gotten any... I think I've got an island that was special once, which was out of season, but outside of that I haven't really had much luck with them. But then again, I haven't been doing them every day. <laughs> I probably should now that uh, I don't need to spend as many knock miles as I had. I think the next big ticket item I need to save for is the lighthouse. But after that, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I want.
I tried to hop across here and then I realized, wait a minute, there's not... Nope. Oh boy, this, this part. <laughs> so, you know, that was fine. I got the pole to leap across and I thought, oh okay, I don't need the pole, I can just jump across without doing the pole thing. So, trees are safe, I go chopping. That's what I want to see. I was trying to jump across and I just couldn't get it to work. It just made no sense. I jumped across so easily, but here I tried so many different angles and I couldn't replicate it. So then I thought, okay, pull out the pole. And then the moment I pull out the pole, I get over again. I don't know. Just watching that again, I just don't know how I did it. It's like a very specific jump. It's funny how I made all those spare axes thinking it would bust sometime soon and just hasn't. That was several days ago. So then I realized, okay, the shovel, I need to go dig that up. And again, I try to jump across. And there we go. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe the pole has something that lets me jump across, maybe, if I'm equipping it. But then, yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. So, whatever, I just leap across. It was weird, man. Oh man, I'm so happy that I had the foresight to just record an audio track to the VOD that's just the game audio in the event that, uh, yeah, something disastrous happens, so. It was supposed to have the voice separate as well, so originally I was just gonna boost the volume of the original audio, but then when I went to check, um, basically the audio reset caused that to mess up, but the audio that came straight from the capture card was thankfully separate, so this is why I'm able to do this. As unideal as it is, uh, thank you for putting up with it. This was awkward. This is just a terrible position for a rock. Yeah, good. No matter what, that just wasn't gonna work. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't detract too much from the experience. I mean, I guess because... You do watch this later on YouTube, it's kind of like the live aspect is missing. I mean, I do say hey to people when they pop in, but... This was done at a time where it is generally more quiet, so... Pretty minimal interactions anyway, so you're not really missing out too much. The only thing is just, uh, I guess towards the end, a little interaction. And the, hey, what's going on with your volume? Which, man, it's a nightmare for a streamer to have audio issues and then you don't realize that it was an issue until way later. When someone finally says something, so... Because some will watch and not think it's a problem. But this time was pretty bad, like I was very quiet. It just was not a good watch, I thought. 
I tried to salvage it, but it just was too below quality, you know? I just want things to be good. And I think this is a, a compromise, but it's a good one. As you can hear me clearly. And nothing too crazy happened. Um, I'm not gonna spoil much. I'm just glad that I didn't decide to do a massive building session today. So, spoiler, a little bit, not really. <laughs> I did some stuff, but not like a four hour session. That would have been heartbreaking. That's what I mean. You know, the past couple of streams of this have been quite lengthy, like three to four hours, so. That is not today. I would like to think that with the new computer there's not going to be this problem anymore, but I feel like it's still going to happen. I just need to really get into the habit where, like, if Windows Update happens, I need to check the audio. It's just... It's happened too many times, I can't be trustworthy with it anymore. Um, it doesn't do it all the time, it's just, like, once in a blue moon. But I think I just need to assume that it's going to do it every time. I'm just, man. It's worse when it happens when it's an update that I don't really care about. And, you know, you get greeted with a screen that says, Hey, we noticed you're not using Microsoft Edge as your default browser. Would you like to change that? Oh, you're not using Office 365 either. Or OneDrive. Would you like to... It's, it's just... Man... It's crazy that we pay for this, for Windows, and they do that sort of thing. Like, it's, it's low-key become what just adware used to be. It's just... You know, I, I appreciate that they want people to use their stuff, but at the same time, it's just... If someone says no, respect, respect that, you know? Asking me every three months isn't going to make me want to sign up for it. If anything, it's going to annoy the crap out of me and going to make me want to get off Windows. It's just, when it comes to gaming, it's very hard to do that, but maybe one day it won't be. I mean, with the Steam Deck, it, you know, the whole Linux gaming thing is starting to become a bit bigger. Um, I've read this one before. May not cut your hair, but I'll hear ye out soon as I be done singing Ye Wee Sea Trout. I did not dig up anything good today. Catch the rest of your dream, falling back to sleep. I love when that happens. It be so deep. I've heard people, you know, they have Windows 10 and then their computer has rebooted recently and then suddenly they have Windows 11. Stuff like that, you know? It almost feels like you don't have control over your computer anymore. Speaking of Windows 11, the new computer is going to have Windows 11 because I don't have a choice in it. They're not selling Windows 10 anymore, so... We'll see how that goes. That's why, uh, I mean... It's not important with the bod, but like... 
you know, the stream that's coming after the move, I'm just being cautious about it, like not rushing into it. Unfortunately, that was just a sea bass. What was I doing here? I was thinking about something. Oh, I was checking the fish. Yeah. Um, also getting coral, because I need more of it. But just... Seeing what I could do fishing-wise, and that's where it was the Mahi Mahi and the Giant Trevally, which... They don't need the rain, so I could do it any other day of the week. So that's why I decided not to do it today. Um... Ooh, second recipe. I don't know what a bamboo sphere is until I saw this. And you know what? It's exactly as described. table recipe. See, restaurants should have fire extinguishers, but I don't think we really have a place for them. So I bought a couple, uh, maybe I'll put them somewhere, I don't know. But Realism. Not sure. Maybe whatever I do with my house eventually. Okay, uh... Yeah, I mean, I was looking here and just... There's not really a spot for it. Away. Except that. I bet that's a song that Catton sings in an older game. That would make sense. That's probably why it sounds familiar, it just sounds like something you would sing while sailing. Double gyroid. Okay. And then, like, yeah, now I needed to see if I needed to move this, which I did. So, just move it down one. This is nearly done. It's getting there. I just need the purple one to appear. Once I get purple, I should be able to move. The blue, the, the blue and the purple separate, and hopefully it'll do something. I need to look at the actual, because I have the diagram, which shows, you know, the optimal way, quote, optimal. <laughs> but I want to get the individual, just, uh, yeah, it just tells you which two will create what color. Supposedly this layout just is best in terms of time, so... 
And again, I do want these flowers to somewhere eventually, so I'm keeping them. And I'll do a massive redistribution eventually. Alright, so the only thing I left is the money rock. And then I think... Well, we'll do the, uh... Some happy home. I believe that's, that was my train of thought at this point. Potentially. Yeah, this rock's kind of in the way. I have so much gold, I haven't made a golden thing yet. I do need to make a golden watering can for the roses eventually, but... I need to get the black roses first, so... Can't do much until that happens. I'm just glad I don't have to water anything today. Try this one. probably leave this rock here. But I think... Maybe once upon a time it, there was a rock in this very similar position. Alright, that's the money rock done. That looks pretty nice. That's why I wanted it to be nighttime today. I just wanted to see how that would look. I need to do. I mean, first of all, get my knock mild, but also the music and then buying a bunch of panels because I'm gonna need them. I was thinking the floor seat originally, but then I think the panels are probably more important because they give the island a good look. And the seats, I mean, I can go without them. They can just sit on the floor. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, panels. I don't even know how many I need. Uh, the panels that I'm getting here, they're probably going to go to what I've done on the West Island first. So it's just that whole line of... Um, I guess fake tall hedges that make that outdoor reading area, and then there's also the, uh, where I have all the fruit trees. Uh, 
So, I mean... <laughs> we do four panels a day. I mean, it's, it's gonna be at least, I think, five days before I get all of them. But I guess with the move over the weekend, um, I'm not sure how much time I'll get into Animal Crossing. So maybe the next time you see this, I will have a bunch of panels amassed and then we just detail. We'll see how we go. Oh yeah, another reason I want it to be nighttime. Okay, this one I'm not failing. You know, I say that as like the likely commentary, but also I know the end result. <laughs> but that's what I was thinking. Wasn't failing that one. Okay. I went to the wrong menu. Just force of habit. Let's do some happy home. See a lot of them can. And look who's here! <laughs> Bunch of goats. Eric will never run around these parts as a vacation home, huh? Maybe I ought to be a little nicer to them, seeing we might end up becoming neighbors, bro. Bruce. Hey, Stu. I'm gonna play all day. Yeah, yeah. That's it's pretty funny. <laughs> Like Stu's back. That uh, inflatable toy looks good, and the table. Oh man, just every time I come here, just my money is drained immediately. All right, let's go. Since you took such a good photo for our design portfolio on that last job, I'd like you to take another one. Okay. Would you mind going to Eloise after all? Blah, 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 blah. Wow, I didn't read this at all. Arsenic gonna take you over to Eloise. Alright, well. I just wanted to get to, to, the, to the point. Like, you know, taking a photo. I was just gonna get there, take one, and leave, pretty much. That's why I was rushing through it. Okay, so first of all, there hasn't been a bottle that has shown up on the beach, which I'm kind of concerned about that. I wonder when it'll start happening. Maybe I need to come here first. Maybe it's just a case of you get a bottle and it's just... It'll either appear on your island or here. I don't know. But I've been here three times. Is it, is it the third time? Yeah, this is the third time. So, the fact that I haven't gotten anything? Strange. Okay, well. 
Hey, that I need a ride? Lotta caught me up. Shall we go right now? Sure. Leave it to me. Hey, you're probably going to be visiting our clients' vacation homes more and more, right? Anytime you want, you come see me, alright? I'll get you there right away on the Monkey Boat Express. But, yeah, actually, it might be even easier if you tell me using the Happy Home Network. Mind trying it now. Choose Eloise's place and yeah, yeah. <laughs> the smug face. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to decorate outside. Maybe another time. I was thrilled when she said you'd be coming by. I wanted so much to thank you again. Once I actually spent time here, I realized just how wonderful it really is. Thank you, Will. You're welcome. Hear that, Will? That there is a fan of your work. Now, if you have any problems at all, please don't hesitate to check in with us at the office. If you want to redecorate or move, we are here to help. Certainly, if and when I need a hand, I'll definitely reach out. That said, I can't really imagine being dissatisfied with anything here. But I must say, if you have any good ideas about remodeling or moving, please do tell me. By the by, you two came to take pictures, yes? Take as many as you like, and all the time you need. Toot. I have all the time in the world, so just shut above to your heart's content. Hey, since we're all here, what if we get some pictures with Eloise in there? I wouldn't mind at all, I've done my share of modeling, you know? The camera and I just get along fine. And feel free to direct me to If you want me to stand in a certain spot or the like, just let me know. Thank you! Get us some pictures, Will, you can do it. I'll be waiting outside, so when you want to head back, say goodbye to the client, okay? All right. That'll do. Oops. <laughs> My eyes were closed. Okay, there we go. That's pretty funny. I blink. I tried to talk to her and then I wanted to turn off the light. That's it, we're done. Okay. Welcome back, I saw the photo you just took. It's already been uploaded to the Happy Home Network app. It gave me a good sense for what you think is important to highlight in the vacation home. You did such a good job. By the way, how did things go with the client? Any issues to report? None at all. That's great to hear. Still, from now on, it might be a good idea to add occasional client visits into your routine. Happy customers are repeat customers, after all. I'm always down at the pier, so hit me up when you need a boat ride. Just say I want to visit a home. Thank you, Nico. You're always so reliable. I don't know what we'd do without you. Oh, I should pay you for this job, shouldn't I? Based on your services, 2000 <laughs> This was a nice surprise, just for taking a photo, like, That's 10 seconds of work. So, yeah. It looks nice and cheap. That one was not. <laughs> Again, just constantly spending my money. Alright, well, I guess we gotta talk before we can invite. We'll get there eventually. It's probably the next big feature. It just progressively discloses new features. So we had to go with Stu. And he was part of the village, the island, the town. So, yeah, I mean, Stu just left for a vacation home. We can ignore the thing that happened with the clowns. <laughs> I'm kind of happy that Stu back.
Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. this is neat. So I was thinking it'd be nice if my vacation home was kind of like this. A home with woodsy smells. Okay. That's very nice, I really like your concept. Alright, next step is for you to choose an island for the client, Will. Oh, that spot looks cool. I can't wait to go there. Now, Stu. We found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we can begin. Will, please lead Stu to the site. Best of luck. Okay. Oh, this is really going to be my vacation home? Really, really? Ha 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 ha, this is going to be so fun. Okay, I'm going to get out of your way. It's time for a snack break. Anyway, I can't wait to move in. Alright. I'm going to start a timer for real. Go. So, ten minutes outside, ten minutes inside. That's what I'm going for right now. I might extend it later, but since these are relatively simple, um, yeah. It makes it interesting and keeps me on my toes. Okay, so... I mean, I haven't unlocked a lot of options. These are all the order items. I have the benefit of hindsight here, but... <laughs> uh... So, I mean, at the time I was thinking of doing sitting here. And then maybe a little garden in front, but then I realized, man, this... This is actually kind of awkward, the land here. It is pretty awkward in shape. There's not a whole lot of room. So, I thought, okay, well, is there a table maybe I can put? And, yeah, not really a whole lot of options for outside. So, the start of this was, was kind of rocky. I was, like, panicking a little, because at this point, it's been, what, like, almost two minutes? I th It felt like a lot more time had passed. So, I was like, okay, let's just leave that idea for now. Let's just throw some vines. And then some flowers. So, there's no hybrids yet. Um, so, I went with Pansy and... Roses? Was it roses? Yeah. So, just, you know, something that has blue on it. And then I went and arranged them. And I noticed, oh, there's, there's a corner over there. Maybe we can do something with it. A little bit of odd symmetry. And um, barbed wire fencing, which I guess. I mean, kind of country fencing. I don't know what happened there. It just wouldn't connect, but okay. And again, I'm just realizing just how awkward this land is, so, you know. Let's do that. And then I think... Oh, the tree can be moved, so... Put the tree over there, out of the way. And then some seating. So I go with that. I call it blue, it works. Okay, so now I just need a table. I wanted that, but then... Too big. 
way too big. So, I mean, the chairs are plastic, but I thought, okay, well, we can go with a, a wooden mini table. And then just style up. So, there we go. Yep. Do the blue tablecloth, keep it simple, and go with the wood there. Looks good. It's in Stu's colors as well, so it works. Okay, now some basic parving. Pretty straightforward. And I figured for this area, I mean, we can get some different ground going. It can still work as like a little, little spot that'll be different. Just get some variety in there. Okay. And then, there we go, it's centered. What else can I throw there? Okay, so... I don't want to put them on the stools, but... I figured, yeah, put these around. I kind of go with it. Sure. Couldn't move it any higher, <laughs> so I left it there. Because already past the halfway mark. Gotta hurry. Okay, so uh, a ring toss game, you can put that in the yard there, so it's just like a little area to play a game. Um, firewood, stack along the right side of the house. Probably not that much. I haven't really messed with moving the house. I think once more options open up, then I will give myself more time. Because you have stuff like, you know, the house style. Um, I think eventually you do get the terraforming options to be able to make bodies of water, so I do want more time. But since this is a simple time boxer. Uh, what else can I do? Do that, uh, wood, cool. That's done. What else? <laughs> A wooden bucket, sure. Uh, I'll just throw it out of the way. Over there, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do. That's, that was my thought. <laughs> I was really struggling with that right side. Okay. There we go. I kept pressing the wrong button. Okay, so... yeah. What else? There's a few touch-ups I wanted to do. So, for starters, do that. Yep. Oh yeah. An outdoor relaxing area there, that's fine. You can chill with the wood. Put it that way. I thought orange originally, but then I realized, oh, wait, blue. So I went with blue. Ah, oh, there's not a whole lot of time left. <laughs> Some of these options were 
Oh, they got a big bookcase there. I want that. The outdoor library. And then there's a stack of books as well. Uh, yeah. Bad idea. I mean, outside of that, I don't know. Like, there wasn't a whole lot I could do. So I thought, okay, just put a couple more stools to be able to sit here, you know? It's just... At the end of the day, Stu said wanted to be surrounded by wood, so if that's, I guess, something that fits the bill. And then I figured, eh, you know what, let's put some moss to decorate. Yep. That'll do. Use the wrong path. And yeah, that was that was it. Time. <laughs> so, I mean, not bad. I think this outside worked a little better than the previous one. It's a very awkward space, so I did the best I could with it. But it fits uh, Stu, I think. Okay, and now for the inside. So I'll start the timer the moment the packages are open. Okay. Starting now. So the very first thing I wanted to nail was, uh, you know, the walls and floors, always first. So, beach wall with that, and then the rest is, I guess, got a bit of a log cabin look. And then floors... what have we got? I started with this. And then I was thinking, what if I could do segmented mats? And these are available, so... I decided to grab these. And it, it was a little, it was a little awkward placing them. <laughs> Did waste a little bit of time rotating these. There we go. Okay, so since that was like that, I figured, well, there's no need to have wood, so I went with carpet. And then I decided to move it. I was, I was trying to rotate it, but it just wouldn't grab that. There we go. I was having problems. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Good job. And then move it back. So that was the easy part. I just put that there. That covers most of it. And then I just put the feature wall there. So. Okay. So, simple so far. And then this time went with a pattern. This was a dangerous move because pattern browsing can take a while, so. I wanted to not overthink it. But also browse the majority of them. The problem is most of these, they're better as cushions as opposed to like the primary pattern on the sofa.
So then I settled on that. Like, that wasn't too bad. And then I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so I had to redo it. But thankfully the pattern was already picked out. Okay. That's the carpeted area. And then I figured that uh, maybe I could segment it further off a rug, so... That was too big. That fit okay. But I wasn't a fan of the color. So I, that one. I think that one looked good. Okay, so now, yeah, three segments. Second couch. It's too big. <laughs> I was like, why is this table so tall? But then I decided, you know what? Let's keep it and then rotate it and put it out of the way. Just keep that style. There we go. It's like a little study area. Um, wooden clock, because one to be surrounded by wood. There we go. Oh. Um, just get some extra decorations. Sure. I don't want to repeat too much. Uh, so Stu's been to Australia. <laughs> Wanted more wood, so that's, a, that's another thing that's wooden. I don't want to repeat too many things, so... Okay, next, lighting. I mean, just wooden shade lamp, easy. Place one there. One above the study. And one there. And there. It's a little non-uniform, but it's fine. Oops. So that makes it easier. And then I wanted to get a plant, so... Oops. But rolled with it. <laughs> Got that. Put that there. Move the waste basket there. Wood burning stove makes sense. That's why you have the pile of wood. Okay. I mean, I guess I have to get low table every time. Then I thought, you know what? Bread. <laughs> yes. And coffee. Coffee and bread. Why not? This was a little bit of a struggle. I thought, oh, center it. It looked like it was centered, but then it would kind of snap back into place. So. I was a little disappointed. So I moved the couch back one. Whoops. There we go. And that's fine. Okay. Um, what else? 
magazine rack. And I was saying that I should put a music player of sorts somewhere. So then it's not silent and music plays, so I remember to do that. Magazine, a reading rack. To, to decorate these back walls, I really didn't want to use anything the same, so I figured, oh, what about a poster? And then I thought, wait, no, put a poster of Eloise. Because a poster of himself wouldn't make sense. And, you know, Stu's a music fan, so I figured, frame some album art. Decided to move this out. <laughs> I mean, a poster would move. I don't know. That one, admittedly, I panicked a little because at this point there's not much time left, so I was trying to finish up. Okay. So, yeah, music fan. And there's not really a whole bunch of other wall things that I wanted to use, so. Yeah. I was looking at other stuff, so wardrobe. And then quickly at the end, I was thinking, okay, one more thing, one more thing in that corner. I thought about this, and then it just looked super awkward, and I, I was panicking. I thought, oh no. Get, get this out, get this out, get this out without destroying anything, and then get rid of it. And that was time. <laughs> so, one little thing I did as just a little bit of a cleanup, I noticed, oh wait, that magazine rack, um, it's not in a good spot. But everything else was fine. I mean, the corner is a corner, it was missing a spot. Um... At least that's usable. But the magazine rack's in the way, so that's the one minor fix that I decided to do. It's just quite clearly in the way. So... I moved it to where the waste basket was. And then put the magazine rack there. But then I thought, oh, that's kind of in the way, so I put that there. And left that at that. Yeah, there we go. That's the end result. Not bad for 10 minutes. Yeah, it's all finished. You're the best. You really work hard on it too. That means a lot to me. Thank you. It's tough, because when you run out of time and you're trying to do a bunch of different things... <laughs> and then I was just taking screenshots to hopefully get a good one amongst the... I think the side view is probably the best. Yep, game sometimes does that. Doesn't have the optimal camera. This one. Came out pretty good. I thought I'd take photos, but then there wasn't really a good angle. Like, I think the job that it did with the uh, auto reveal thing was fine. So, I went with that one. It's good. Hmm? 
Yeah, Stu's got a vacation home now, so... Lives on. On the island. What the- huh? Huh? Whoa, you did it again. It's all shiny now. Wardle can make anything shiny by polishing it. Anything, I swear, it's like magic. Wardle keeps things nice and clean around here, but he always tries to do it when none of us are around. I always put cleaning at the bottom of my to-do list when I get busy, so I'm really thankful for your help. Yeah, thanks, Wardle. Now then, thanks for another job well done. How do I know it well? Because you've got the face of a winner. Just look at you. Winner all over. 6,000 pokey, yay. I'm gonna spend immediately. <laughs> well, not all of it. Yeah, I mean, we're good. Table's nice. I think I know exactly what I want to do with it. Um, pass. I already have one, that's fine. Okay. I mean, there was just goats and... mouse. There wasn't a whole lot of choice today. Oh, there's a bear. I didn't notice the bear. That was after the fact. It's alright, I wouldn't have done that anyway. Um, go in the house first. Yep. Okay. I wanted to see the different styles. I mean, that is quite fancy, the last two. But I decided to keep it as is. Okay, so for this one... There's some neat styles here. But I figured this looks like a fortune telling table, so... I wanted to set up a fortune teller. At the, uh... I mean, that doesn't look too bad. At Pietro's fun time carnival thing. I was trying to find something that looked kind of mystic. There wasn't really anything that fit that bill. Except stars. Yeah, stars worked. So I went with that. I also had a look at it, <laughs> just to see how it looked. I think I'm, I'm just... you'll see. I'll say it when it happens. Just something I kind of noticed, but I'll address it next time I play. So I think, you know, this is the sad part. Like, roughly at around this time, this is where I was notified of, like, audio being weird. Which, yay. <laughs> it's 
quite the time. Um, yeah, man, Windows update, what are you going to do? So, this is when I decided, okay, well, let me just do what I'm going to do. And at this point, I'll figure something out. So, um, I thought here, but then it just seemed a bit crowded. So, uh, yeah, wasn't it? Okay. There would probably be crowded as well. So I wanted to set off a, a booth, and I was thinking putting it next to here, but then there's not enough room either. And this looks good, so I left it. I mean, this build is, is nice. I like just how it is. So, what I thought was, okay, well, there's room outside. I'll move the train. Because I could probably go in with the rest of the attractions and that's all together. Um, so, place the train. Um, I mean, I thought it was fine here. It's just, it felt a bit cluttered. I can't actually walk in there and <laughs> just thought, oh, I can't actually walk in there. So I was messing around with this, like trying to pull it. I thought, okay, just pull it in one and then I should be able to squeeze in and then maybe this one can go in. Nope. Because the house is in the way, so. It was unfortunate. But I think I had the problem before, I just kind of forgot about it. But I mean, it's accessible from... I guess just use your imagination, like you should be able to squeeze it in there. But for some reason, put it. So... I decided to go against it, and then thought, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put it here. This is fine. There we go. Yeah. So I left it there. And that worked pretty well. So then I thought, okay, fortune teller's place outside. So I gotta build a stall quickly. And get the uh, crystal ball out of storage, which I'm Positive I have. I might see if I can customize that crystal ball next time. But just watching this footage, yeah, I mean... I did have to... well, I didn't have to. But I, I cut it short just because of the whole audio issue thing. And figured, okay, don't let this become a massive problem in editing. So, I got the wood, which once again is running out. <laughs> I got a nice stack of it from the island I visited, but most of it's gone. Where is it? Then I realized I was looking at uh, not everything. Also paying attention to the chairs. Think if I could take something out with me. that I take. Oh, see, there it is. The Power Stone. And, uh... Then, the Zodiac Rabbit. 
and the turtle. Just stuff that I've gotten off her. Okay. Again, just trying to look at chairs, but... I decided against it in the end. But just wasn't anything really good. I did take this with me because I thought, oh, maybe I could set like a side table or something. Uh, because I've been using these for stalls, so... Okay. And then I had to craft the, uh, actual stall. At some point, I need to make that. Ah, I kept going past it. Alright. And this was straightforward. Black, and then just... There you go. Done. I can't believe I, I ran into that and didn't step on it. Like, how? How did that happen? I basically walked over the thing. Okay. Got it. I kind of expecting Pekka to clap there. <laughs> yes, I mean, I was still thinking about putting it inside the uh, amusement park, but I think it just would have gotten too cluttered otherwise. But also at this point, you know, the discussion was on the audio, and I was just like, uh... Man, the Windows update. Okay, well. It's time to wrap this up, so. Turn it that way. So here's the thing. I originally decided against this look. So, you know, I place this, and then I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay. That looks good, except for the part where, you know, the power stone is on this red thing, but then the cloth is yellow. Um, so I thought, okay, well, I should make the cloth red. Right? That, that was my thought right now. But, upon reviewing the footage, I think I really should have left it like this. I think it looks good like this, and what's about to happen here... <laughs> I think I... I didn't... I didn't look at it enough. That's all. That's just... At this point, I was like, okay, well... Let me finish up. I need to reboot my computer. I need to fix this audio thing, because I can't keep streaming today unless I fix... Um... My microphone and make it normal again, so... This was a bit of rushing it. But now that I see it, I'll probably put it back to how you just saw it now, which is, you know, the golden... 
fabric. Because if you look at um, Katrina's one, it's not re it's not sitting on red. It's sitting on like a different color. So it makes sense. I thought it was sitting on red fabric. I don't know why. Just had that mental picture in my head, and it was wrong. But um, yeah, I've seen it a couple times already. But it's made me definitely reconsider. So, you know, this... This was not the choice. And it looks like the crystal ball can get customized, so maybe I can look at what can be done with it. Maybe I can keep the red and just change mm -hmm. the color. But I don't know, I kind of like the... I kind of like the gold. Like, this looks weird. I just wanted to match the color of the power stone thing. Ah, uh, Katrina's thing was in frame. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I recognize it just doesn't look good. It looked better before. Alright, well, that's it for uh, for this Animal Crossing video. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and thank you for putting up with uh, all the shenanigans with the microphone. So, hopefully this commentary was a good enough substitute than hearing the stream audio. Anyway, if you want to support the channel in the meantime, easiest way to do so is just uh, hit the like button or watch any of the other two videos that are popping up on your screen by now. But yeah, till next time, see you later YouTube. Thanks for watching.